Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. We, 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 need, we, we need to be able to deal with that. There's some water going in for them. The money is ticking away at a ridiculous rate. It is ticking away at a ridiculous rate. Total mixed ration is 655 litres left. Not very much. I don't... Does straw improve the percentage health of the cows? Like, because I want slurry. I don't want straw. I want slurry. I, I, yeah, and if, if I put straw in, I don't get any slurry at all. That's the one thing that I don't really like about it. Oh, wait. There was a... What, the, the, oh, pigs. Yeah. Right. Let's go and get this one. And we will tip in some mixed ration. And then we can bring this one back. And we can sit it there. I need to also get the straw running around. Although that's not going to be a great um, hardship either, is it? That's, that's, that's not exactly difficult. And bring you around like this. The only thing we can't do with straw. With our bales of straw anyway. Is we cannot go and put the bales of straw into the storage to easily access it with our pecan mixer over there. We've actually got to put the bales in manually. Uh, we can at least put the bales in over there on our mixer that we got down that side, which is, that is a big positive. Let's go like this. Uh, no, I don't want to look at you. I want to look at this one over here. So total mixed ration, one more trailer load, and then the cows will be absolutely fine for total mixed ration. While that trailer load is loading over here, I will, yeah, I'm out of silage on there, but I've got loads in here. Look at this. Look, I've got 360,000 <laughs> litres of mixed feed in there. So it's not like we're going to run out anytime soon. I think we're going to be all right. It's silage that we're going to want, and we will get a silage fermenter. So our next round of grass that we're going to buy, that's going to be done with a silage fermenter. Right, while that one fills up, I'm going to jump over to this one. Fortunately, these two tractors are right next to each other in the um, cycle list, which is always handy. So I bring the trailer over this way first. And I bring that one across the chickens like that. And that one will allow me to tip in some barley for the chickens right there. So they get a couple thousand litres, actually. And then we go whizzing on past there. See, it does raise up a little bit going across the crop there but it's it's not a huge amount right it's, it's not like really really obscenely bumpy or anything like that it's not like the wood chips are full of angles and any so we, we don't have any issues with it let's bring you down this way Actually, i'm gonna look at you this way like that so there's that one going in and then i can switch over to the middle trailer and i can bring you in like that and you need to start turning and then i can switch you over to the rear trailer and that one's already far enough in that I could have started tipping already. And then I put that one in there. Right. And that's tipped out a nice little lot in there. So now pigs have got everything they need apart from... I do need to run around and do the straw in a second. Cows over here. No straw. Just the mixed ration that we need. The water is now full at 212,000 litres. Which is insane. But that, like now, I, this one, I just drive it up here... And job done. That's it. That's all I need to do. That is now job complete on that one. There's nothing else that I need to do. That one can stop right there and it's finished. I'm going to switch that over like that. And I'm going to put the straw onto this tractor. And then Ducky's tractor can stay on the trailer that it's on at the moment for now. I'll bring you back into here like this. And then I run up round there. And I will tip out for the pigs. We'll put a bit of straw in for the pigs because they're, they're going to need a bit in here. Once you start getting the piglets turning up, you start getting, uh, like, using way, way more straw. And I mean a lot more straw than you do right here with just these. I've noticed that with the Seasons playthrough, right? I am using a massive amount of straw. Huge amount. Bales and bales of stuff. Um, but... That's not really going to be an issue for us. What we're going to do is we'll 
use course play for the combines and then we'll use course play for gathering up the straw afterwards and the straw is not going to be baled we're going to use a forage wagon to pick it up probably that one over there and then that will be brought over and it will be tipped into here and then i can take it out of the thingy over that side and there shouldn't be any issues so there's all of that one all i got to do now is get the uh mixed feed and we take that in for the cows and that's everything fed and it's day five on late winter so we can do our next round of feeding in on the first day of spring i think we should be able to we could bring our 45,000 litres right here over and then I'm thinking that I might just go and have this tractor and trailer a minute and go and get one more little bit of uh, another trailer load of silage from the clamp as we're sort of as we're heading over that way. I mean this is only 45,000 litres in this one if we get the other trailer we'll be able to carry it so maybe, maybe I will maybe I'll go and get the other trailer first and then we'll do it and we get more silage from the clamp over there and that's our next big purchase has got to be that. It's the global company. It's this one. Although that's 110,000. And I no longer have the 110,000 because I'm going to spend all my money on water. Which was not really part of the Grand Master plan. I wasn't supposed to spend all the money on water. But uh, yeah, that's, that's just the way it goes sometimes, I suppose. We'll run back in here. I, the amount of corn that we've got. Right, this, oh no, this canola. Uh corn at the moment i've got one hundred and fifty thousand liters of corn i will do more corn that is something that i am going to do now mixed ration i don't think if you get mixed ration wet i don't think it matters so i could load up the trailer now if i was to park that trailer underneath the spout so that it's loaded ready i don't believe that stuff rots away i think we can leave that in the trailer and it won't disappear overnight really hoping that's the case because otherwise we're in trouble um, so I'm going to leave, well, it, it's 45,000 litres worth. We've got, a, we got a little bit left in there. We'll probably be all right. We'll probably cope with it. So I'll let that fill up. That can automatically fill up that trailer. We will go and get a little bit more straw. Not straw, silage. Because it's going to be really good. We'll have hay that is making in the other thing over there. We'll have silage from its own thing, which we'll put in here in the yard. And then the straw that will be coming out of that spout right there so we'll be able to have all of those items i realize that i haven't yet done the horses and the reason i haven't yet done the horses is i may as well say so uh, i'm just about to i'm going to do a little bit more and then i'm going to finish this week's recording session and then what i'm going to do is uh wait a minute yeah that should lower down uh then by the time I come back to it, I'll have found out whether or not you want me to keep the horses. Because if you don't want me to keep the horses, then we'll get rid of them. Although I could take the little bit of oats that we've got left in storage and I could ditch them. Although I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm thinking oats could be a good cash crop. Um, if we're not, if we don't have horses using up the oats, then we can use the oats as a cash crop and, and sort of see what's going to happen there. Something else that I would like you to talk about in the comment section... Just give me your opinion. See, I, I'm curious to see what people think is going to happen. What do you think we're going to see in FS21? Right, it's end of this year. We know that FS21 will turn up at the end of this year. And I believe we were, what, like September when FS19 came out or something like that. Um, it was reasonably early in the year. Uh, so we're not that far away now from fs21 coming out it's going to be turning up soon um on the, well on the grand cosmic scale of things then very soon uh but uh, yeah we, you know, what do you think we're going to see what are your theories about what we might see in fs21 i've got my own theories i've got things that i believe that we could very well see and things i'd be surprised if we don't get additional crops like additional crops seems to be something that does happen fairly frequently i don't know if it's going to be very much i mean we had what do we get in fs15 what do we get in the way of extra crops i can't remember now we had um sugarcane was introduced part way through fs17 the sugarcane was introduced with f with the estancia lapacho and um, there was a whole new crop that was introduced with the platinum edition um in fs17 
And F is 19. We obviously, we've had oats as an extra thing. I think the beans was an extra one in F is 17 as well. In, or was that F is 15? I can't remember now. Sunflowers was a new one. That was in F is 17 with sunflowers as a new one. Uh, so yeah, we've had extra crops being added in. Do you think we're going to have extra crops? Or do you think we're more likely to see some extra animals being added into the game? And we had horses added in this time. They did say they were adding dogs in, but really the dog is, is just like a decorative thing. And it, it doesn't really do much to help out with anything at all, does it? So, um, I think that uh, quite a few people were a bit disappointed with the how the dog turned out in the game. Um, that being said, they still did put the dog in there. So, that, that one was there. But uh, horses were kind of the big thing for the animals in this game. And not only that, like, you, you, the horses, they are pretty well done. You, you, you've got horses, you, you've got a pen for them, you've got to put the stuff in for them. They did a complete rework of all the animals as well, let's not forget. So your customization options in the game now are way above and beyond what they used to be. And I do love that they did that. Like, the, the customization that you've got within the game is absolutely wonderful. And that is something that... I, I, I like that more than I like anything else about FS19. That, that is my single greatest thing that I like about FS19 is the customization you've now got on the maps. Uh, you, you can pretty much change anything you like. Uh, there's a few set pieces that you do have in the game that you can't change around. Other than that, pretty much everything is fully 100% customizable and it's... It's wonderful. It really is. The way that it all, all the customization works is absolutely fantastic. And I genuinely, genuinely love it. It's it's probably my favorite thing about it. Um, so I... be pr We pretty much guarantee that there will be an extra crop. Maybe two. Or some extra animals. Maybe even both. But I, I don't think we're going to end up with both. I don't think that it's going to be a, a both situation. I think it's going to be one or the other extra animals of some kind or some extra crops. I'd be more inclined to think that we're going to be getting extra crops rather than extra animals. That's what I think that we'll get is, is more crops, possibly some more specialized crops. Although I don't know, but it might, you know, we, we had the oats added in. That's not a specialized crop. That's just another cereal that was added in. So you've got ad additional sort of um, choices to make. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they do that, another choice or two, and then maybe another specialist one as well, because there are a few now. We've got, like, sugar cane, potatoes, uh, sugar beet. They're, they're specialist crops. You need specialist equipment to be able to harvest and plant each one of those uh, that you cannot use for anything else. And I like that. I do like the specialist crops being put in. Um, but anyway... I'm going to take a short break. Well, for me, it's going to be a week. For you, it's just going to be a little tiny blip in the middle of an episode. And then we'll see if we need to keep these horses. Right, there's our short blip. I am just going to get this tractor and muck spreader, and I'm going to drive it back to the farm. We're all done over in this field. This has now all been cultivated. It's all been ploughed. It's got what looks like a... <laughs> we started off well sliding around like lunatics uh oh no that's weeds there that's that's weeds that have come up there um right we'll, we'll, we'll drift the tractor a little bit let's let's see if we can do um it's it's not tokyo drift this one this is this is um the fast and the furious farmyard drift i was gonna say well i suppose maybe we could just call it the alps drift something like that anyway doesn't really matter I'm going to keep hold of this one. I know that we've got this one leased at the moment, so it is going to cost us if we hang on to it. But I'm still going to hang on to it, because I think that this one will actually be a pretty good one to um, keep hold of. We we've done quite a bit of ground with it, and I like it. I actually really like this vehicle. So I think we will hang on to it, and we will uh, park it up in the shed, and then we'll see about buying it at a later date. We're not going to buy it just at the moment. So anyway, yes... Um, Short blip. I've driven that one back. The answer to the question with the horses. Almost every... I think there was one person maybe said keep the horses. That you like having the horses on the map. Um, because they do generate a bit of income. Uh, they sort of... They, they negate the... Um, the interest that we get from our loan. And they also make a difference for 
a few other bit, you know, like uh, cover the running costs and things like that. However, almost everybody uh, did say you probably better to get rid of the horses. We'll make some more space with them. I don't actually look at the names of the horses all that often anyway, like very, very infrequently as you, you see them when I name the horses and then that's it. And now I'm putting everybody's names at the end of every episode anyway. Well, not everybody at every episode, but you, you get the idea that the names are coming up in lists at the end of every single episode on this series anyway, along with a few others where I don't generally use the names very much in the series. Um... So, yes, I'm, I'm doing it that way, and uh, that way I'm, I'm able to get everybody who supports me and get you mentioned more frequently in whichever videos I'm doing, uh, which is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and um, we can also make use of some space over here, which is it's absolutely grand. This is, this is the bit that I really like, is that we're now going to be able to make use of some of this space. So if I run up over here, and I go into there, and then I go over here to Robert Girk, Dave Davidson, Gorilla Wizard Gaming, Brett Nelson, Doug Campbell, Daniel Comtecki, Mafia X Phantom, Scott the Aussie, Henry Ashworth, Scott Golden Eagle, Meredith Wyatt, Rose Lou, Smoodalini, and Jeremy Hall, you are the last horses in this series and now you're gone that is the end of you that is it the horses are finished so then what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're going to go into the garage like this and we're going to go all the way down over here to the animal pens large horse paddock sell yes this vehicle has been sold right i have sold the vehicle of the horse paddock that means that i've got space over here for stuff but it also means that I've now got space here for stuff. And it's the space here for stuff that I want. That's the one that I actually want. Um, I was considering getting another pig pen over there. But I don't think I will. I mean, if we have a look. Let's go into here. Animal pens. I've only got 123,000. So I don't have enough to look at where a pig pen... Well, I've got enough to look where a small pig pen would go. Um... There isn't enough, there is just enough space to put a pig pen in here, but I don't really want to. I don't think that would be a suitable place to drop a pig pen. It's going to take up too much space. I wanted to get rid of the horses to take up less space. So we, we don't want to replace that with something that's going to take up more space. No, the one that I actually want is a fermenting silo. Now, I was talking about bringing a fermenting silo out over here, but it's, one, again, one of those... Oh, no. Ah. A fermenting silo only requires you to have access to one side. Both the tip and fill triggers are only on one side. The might, slight issue might be that spout there. Let's bring it up over this one. It's whether or not this one is going to be able to go under. Yes, this one will be able to go under it when it's emptying. That's the big question, is whether it would be able to go under it when it's emptying. And I was thinking that we would use these... And we'd be able to put them down over there. But no, I don't need to. I can actually use that for another shed. We can have a shed there in the middle. Or maybe we could put one over on the side. And we can have a road that runs through here a little bit more easily. May even get rid of that tree now. That one really is stuck in the middle there, isn't it? It's, it's like stuck right up in the middle. Of the... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something that I've seen done in another yard. Um, a farm I used to work on. I'm going to do that now in a minute. Uh, so this one over here, I can put that one down there. And then we've got that one made. That one is built. I'm going to put that one right over into that corner. Over there. Bring it over a little bit further, maybe. I reckon about there. It goes, sort of goes right in against the fence. It's near the tree. That gives us enough space to be able to easily get back into there. We could even put a second one and we'll still be able to reverse in. And we can use both. We, we can use these uh, silos. I'm hoping. So let's... Drop in here a bit and see what that looks like if I drop that one there. Right, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good there. And it's not gone back very far. We've got a little bit of concrete that has come out the back here. That's fine. I don't mind that. 110,000. I don't have any more money left over at the moment. This bit in here, I think we will just do a bit with that. Is that? uneven ground there it is a little bit isn't it i think it'll be all right no it, it, it's this bit here that i want to do something with well there's actually this bit and that bit over there I, I want to do something with both of them so we're going to go into landscaping first we're going to go over here 
I'm going to leave that bit. Although, tempted to change this. Although, I'll tell you what, having this concrete like this, we sort of have a track along here. If I have the rougher concrete down this side, that might be better. Put that around this bit. And then have this like a, a driven path that goes around here. Something like that. That could work. I like that idea. Right, uh, press X to change the type. Press C to change the shape. And press Tab to change the actual type, which is like that, which I want to do. Uh, that's too much of a step. That is too much of a step. I can take that down as small as it will go, but it will... Oh, hang on. Right. And go like that. It does only go out to the end, and that keeps it on that square. That's good. I want that square, and I want it to go like this. I want this to be this type of concrete back to here. I'm going to go right back to this fence now. Back to the fence edge over here. So we'll do that up this way, like that. And... Yeah, right up, just just to the fence edge like this, I think, is perfect. I'll do that all the way back through. Oops, that was too much. I went too far. I took I took it too far. I took things too far. Once again, I, I, I do that from time to time. I am, I'm noted for doing things like that. Right, uh, let's lower that in. There we go. And then do those back to there like that. And then I need to go over to this side. Because I'm going to there, aren't I? So I need, I need to bring it to this point. If I can bring it to that point, let's change this concrete type. Grass, like that. Yeah, that's gotten rid of everything bad that I did. And then I can go back through it again. And I can go to that one. And I can go to there again. And that will straighten it up. Right, that's looking very, very beautiful and wonderful. And then there's just this bit over here. Which I just want to straighten up. Along there, like that. And I won't go any further than that. And I will go a little bit over this side. Well, that'll be enough over there for now. I'll worry about doing some more over there, possibly at some point in the future. But we're not going to worry about it for a minute. Next, I'm going to change the shape of that. And I'm going to expand it out, like this. And... Nope. Don't want that one. I'm going to go with this concrete type, and I'm going to put that over where the horses were. So for the moment, we're just going to leave this as open concrete. I'm not going to do anything else with it. I'm just going to have it as open concrete, like this, clean patch in the middle, and then we might go and do something with it a bit later on. Now, this tree down here, I do want to do something different with this one. I've got an idea. I don't know whether it's going to work. I'm hoping it will. Let's bring that down smaller like that. And first up, we're going to get rid of the undergrowth that we've got around the tree. Like this. And we're going to take that in quite tight back towards the tree itself. Like that. Get rid of these shrubs. There we go, and then I'll bring it in this side as well. I'll have to go right in there to get rid of that shrub, which I don't really want to do. I don't want to take it in that tight to the tree. Uh, I can go to there. And then I want that one. See, that's going in a little bit. We're going to have to change it to this one here. That's as small as we can go. And then I want to change that up to uh, that type of ground there All right and i just want to make a little tiny bit of a patch like that around it so there isn't much there at all really it's just poking through the concrete a little bit bring that out and i'll do the same on that corner there there right it's just poking through the concrete a little tiny bit we've, we've concreted around the tree and we've left the rest of it right where it is so we've actually got the tree in the yard. Now, there was one other thing that I wanted to look at, and this is something that I've seen on a farm that I used to work on, but it's whether or not we've got the right items for it. It's a two-meter fence. Ooh. This might be sufficient. 
Right, I've done this. I've seen this with fence, and I've seen this with stone wall as well. If we've got a stone wall, it will do it. Stone wall double, single. Okay, if we've got a stone wall, it will do this. This will, if we can get this to work correctly, this will actually look pretty cool. Um, so I want to put one there. I need to come around here so that I can get this next one lined up. And unfortunately, getting the next one lined up exactly is going to be difficult. Is there a way to have it uh, grid snap? Huh? Right, where's the grid snap? That's not grid snapping. That's not the grid snapping I want, anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it is grid snapping. If I can bring that round. I just want to see if that's... That is lined up pretty straight. So if I can get that to grid snap exactly up that way. It... Yes, excellent. Right, well that's looking like it's the correct grid snap that I want. So all i got to do is make sure that that is lined up there and straight and square on the middle. There like that. Now I will do that again, and I want to rotate it round that way so that it grid snaps there. And then we can rotate this one round. Oh, I see. I wonder what this little bit of grass was doing here. It's because we've got... I need to go in that way a little bit. It's what's underneath the wall. That will go there. We'll get rid of that in a minute. Well, we might. I might... I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. Right, and then if I go to C, there we go, like that, and rotate that one. I think that's perfectly square now. Yep, that's lined up square as well. So then I take that one, and I can line it up on there. Boom, like that. Now, I realize that's probably taking up more space than it was before, because we've now got a wall with a collision on it. But I think that it will ultimately be worth it. So let me go here and we go back into landscaping. And now what I want to do is I want to take that. That's already as small as it can go. And I want to tab through and get the correct concrete, which is this one. And then I want to very carefully get rid of the little tiny bit of grass that is sticking out. But I don't want to get rid of too much. Right, has that gotten rid of too much? No, that's not. That's actually done what I wanted it to do. Although, looking on the inside, I'm thinking we may have been better leaving it with what was already there. We can't um, lift up. Although, on this, on these two sides, it's not come out. It's, it's left the grass. I, I like that. We'll leave it like that. We won't do any more to it. We will leave it just like that. That will be it. So if you look in here, there we go. We have got some grass growing in there. We've got some leaves under there as well, which is from under the tree. And it's not going out into the yard. That is looking actually pretty cool. I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm, I'm actually really pleased with that. There we go. There is our little bit of work that we have done for the day. We have put a wall up around the tree. The horses are gone. We've got some space over here, which we will be using at some point. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm particularly pleased with that. I am. I, I feel I can give myself a, a congratulatory pat on the back for that little job right there. Now then, let's check our animals and make sure that everybody is happy. I've got some brand new chickens right here, which we will not do anything with for a little while. Uh, cows over here, they have got plenty of food. Pigs, they have got plenty. Of, everybody's got plenty of food. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time... 
Thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.